Jolly good morning. Good morning. Still pretty early. Sun is, well I guess the sun's technically came up, but it's behind a cloud so we can still say it's just sunrise. Shehalian, or as you like to call it. Shishi. <laughs> It's parked down there, beautiful anchorage on the calm side of this island called Banta, Banta, in uh, the northern end of Komodo. So we've hiked up to the saddle here and uh, bought some beautiful banana cake that Marie made yesterday up here for breakfast. And yeah, just enjoying the view. It's not the most amazing weather, but I think it's got potential. No, and this weather is perfect about the temperature. I'm super happy to hiking, not so early and not having too hot. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing place here, as you'll see in the clips coming up. We're finally back in really clear, clean water. Uh, amazing snorkeling and stuff here, but we'll show you all that. Uh, yeah, enjoy the video. beautiful it's good to be uphill sometimes because on the boat we are always at the sea level so I'm always happy when we have a little bit of altitude beautiful banana cake Marie made yesterday yeah breakfast time can't go wrong what is it banana chocolate yeah know? banana chocolate ginger and coconut milk. Thank you. Life's good. I can eat the whole thing right now. <clears throat> Tell them what happened to your knee yesterday. Well, man, it was really wanted to have one shot of a dive from the boat and we had to do quite a lot and one of the last ones I have to climb from the front but I was already wet because I already did it a lot and I slipped from the how you call that the bow rail the bow rail of the front of the boat at the moment of diving and my legs was uh, stuck inside and I did a super bad jump and I twisted a little bit my knee. We've been careful today. Yeah. been in Lombok and Sumbawa and now we yesterday we left Sumbawa and we're back in well sort of Komodo I guess and the water is just incredible the coral and everything is just oh you know you're back you know like can't wait to get in the water we'll show you what it's like though it's freaking awesome looking here
but pretty incredible here so nice to be back in really clear water what sort of blows us away a little bit though is that just the lack of fish it's uh it's sort of i'm not a marine biologist but you know we swim a lot and and you know many tropical places all through australia and solomon islands papua new guinea all through indonesia and this indonesia in general just has no fish and it's sort of mind-boggling to me because the nature you know the coral the the clean water the 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 plankton plankton and phosphorescence every night there's obviously a lot of life in the water but there is just no fish uh, of any size it's sort of i blame it on the local fishermen i guess because you see if you go to a fish fish market anywhere you'll just see the tiniest of coral trout being sold and just all you know there's no limits they just take everything so they'll just net every and they'll take everything they won't throw anything back even if you know catch it on a hook line and sinker they just take everything there's no uh oh this is too small we'll let it get back until it breeds it's just take it you know but i don't know there's not i mean there is thousands and thousands of fishermen obviously but there's no i haven't seen big commercial trawlers especially not in close around where the coral reefs and that are so i don't really understand it i do know that in australia there is thousands time more fish it's just incredible the difference you know like you go to the great barrier reef and you go into a green zone where there's no take and there is just coral trout there is emperor there is parrotfish there is just every description and huge but here we're more you know the coral is better the, the water is definitely clearer than in australia all of the things that you would think would make for a healthy reef but there's just no fish and uh you know because of that there's no sharks we you see a shark maybe i don't know i've been here three years i've seen maybe five you know and some places there's turtles but there's just a real lack of life in the water which is just i don't know i guess uh it would be interesting to hear from any people that really have facts or know about this because i can't believe it's just um the way it is you know i i can't believe that there's just this huge lack of fish but anyway uh i stopped snorkeling now because i was getting brassed off with my i bought these cressy goggles not so long ago because i i bought these ones a few months ago because i had the, the gopro mount but they're just rubbish and i know cressy is a good brand and i paid you know they weren't the most expensive goggles you can buy but they definitely weren't the cheapest but uh they were just fogging up fogging up so then i googled it and i saw on um what's his name Brody, i think off young bloods he was you know he sells these ones and uh i watched what he does you know you use a cigarette lighter and burn off the inside plastic and then use soap and hot water and blah 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 i did all that like a few times actually and they still just fog up and they fog up and it's normally you know two three minutes of clear diving and then it's just fogging up and then then you're sort of forced to put salt water in them and then it's just downhill from there and it's just a pain in the ass so i don't know if any of you have got a uh, good hints i guess probably the best place would just be in the rubbish and start again but it seems to be a shame because if i'd only paid 20 bucks and there was some crappy brand i would expect it sort of but you know they it's but i don't know i don't know i'm not a big free diving freak but uh i've heard of cressy it is a brand and i don't expect their product just to be rubbish so if there's anyone out there that got better hints maybe there's clean them with petrol or something i don't know maybe there's something toothpaste i don't know <laughs> boil them with a rock <laughs> give me your best uh clues how to fix this problem i do have another pair on the boat that i have used in the past that don't fog up but they don't have the gopro mount so anyway um i've lost marie she kept swimming oh there she is i'm watching there's some parrot fish with the the, the forehead the bump on the forehead yeah they're oh. purple and blue and they are swimming super beautiful here nice are we just cruising along with the current huh yeah, yeah. we're about uh we actually ended up quite far now from the boat uh from shahalian we're about two miles we've sort of motored the whole way out of the bay and around the point but uh the water is so nice here it's hard to stop
Yeah, so we're still here on Banter Island and uh, so I did a little beach clean up. Yeah, uninhabited, nothing here at all. Plastic everywhere. What do you do, eh? It's pretty uh, sad to see. But yeah, it washes up from somewhere. It comes from the land out there where people just chuck stuff in a river and it ends up on a beautiful island like this. We can't really do anything else but uh, set a fire to it, just burn it and uh, it's not really good smoke going up too but at least yeah it stops it going back in the ocean. You see a lot of the plastic here, it's been on the beach for a while in the sun and as soon as you touch it it just crumbles and that's microplastic, that's the stuff that gets in all the animals and all that sort of stuff so yeah, burning. Yeah, it's even going in your fingers and it's closed like even it's uh, broken like this. It's like glass, like it's Little splinters. There yeah. 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 Have a look up here. This is just on the beach, washed up at high tide. As far as you can see. Obviously the fishing industry also has quite a big role in throwing stuff away, losing nets and ropes and buoys and stuff. Bottles everywhere. I would say after bottles and shampoo and all that like just plastic bottles I would say uh, flip-flop sandals and that are the second most popular uh, reef dweller of the plastic family and then yeah after that it's all just sorts of stuff uh, nets yeah nets and ropes a lot of them. don't all start commenting that you know Indonesia Indonesia are so disgusting you need to clean your act up Indonesia sure it's bad here but if you look on the, the big Google machine, you won't find Indonesia on the top 10 consumers of plastic per capita. It's, it's way down there. Where you guys all live, where you viewers all live, are the highest uh, uses of, of plastics, you know. We can't really get away from it in our world anymore. But in my view, yeah, it looks bad on the beach, but the day it's made and sent out to the world, Plastic's already out there, you know. Um, we, in Western countries, we just tidy it up more, but the plastic itself is the problem, right? So I like buying TVs and all this bigger stuff here. It's like flip-flops and bottles, but the main usage of plastic are bigger things, you know? Like all cars are pretty much made out of plastic these days, all the interiors anywhere, and, and clothes, and you know, all that. Like the whole fashion industry is plastic, and the Western world consumes so much more of that than Indonesians do. So don't bag on Indonesia too much. They just don't have the infrastructure to clean it up but um, they don't actually use that much plastic, so yeah, just thought I'd throw that in there. How do you like your new smashing bowl? Quite happy because we don't need electricity, so I can take it on the beach. And it works well? Yeah, but well, I have to learn a little bit how to use it more efficiently, but yeah, it's working super well. So tonight we are cooking on the beach, so I prepared sambal, it's a chili sauce to eat with the grilled fish, corns and some potatoes. So I hope it's gonna be good even if Vernon doesn't really like this kind of fish. Good time in Banta? Yeah, super good. That was super good to have a few days without signal, without internet. And just enjoying the nature, snorkeling, hiking and yeah, just being by ourselves and, and enjoying the, the simple things around. We haven't seen another person for what, four, five days? It's pretty nice actually. We saw a few boats in the distance. Uh, just fishing boats and one police boat maybe, but um, yeah, we had this big beautiful island to ourselves. Very, very nice. We're going to the top of Komodo Island now and then just slowly working our way towards Dabombajo and uh, stopping in some nice places through Komodo Park. We don't really know what to expect if the park's open or if Labombajo's welcoming of us. 
sailors, you know, we haven't been online and we've said there's a lot of stuff going on in Indonesia now with COVID, so lots of things could have changed, but we're going to see. Thanks, patrons. Again, uh, awesome, you guys. Super cool. I say super cool every time. I need to come up with something new, but uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Um, it's really, really amazing to us that, you know, you guys are willing to support what we're doing and, and the time we invest in making these videos. Obviously, it is a fair bit of time, but um, and effort, but we enjoy it, right? Yeah, you know, we were climbing to the top of the hill yesterday and um, sort of talking about ideas for future videos and it's, you know, it's quite inspiring sometimes, you know, trying to keep ourselves entertained with the new videos, not just doing the same thing and uh, hopefully you guys keep entertained as well um, by that. Anyway, we'll um, see you next week with something about Komodo, probably be a lot of snorkeling and uh, Hopefully some manda rays, that would be awesome because Marie still hasn't dived with a manda ray, so we're going to try and find that. See ya!